Hello everyone and welcome. I am the Smooth Operator and we are back on Ragnarok Online. Today I will explain my grand plan and the steps that I am taking to achieve the ultimate goal, a max level character, and the fourth job. But first, I want to go over some mistakes that I made in the previous video. First, I forgot to mention that Gravity released a new race in class in 2017, the Duram and their exclusive Summoner class. So, what is my grand plan? Well, here's a picture of it broken down into a simple screen. As you can see, it looks simple on paper, but to get a character to base level 99 and job level 50 and then rebirth is pretty simple. But the later half is actually a lot harder. But before I get too far ahead of myself, let's just narrow it down to the first part. First, let's create a character. Now, I checked all my characters before doing any of this journey, and my account is basically dry on money. So, I might have had a card or two but nothing of significant value. Anyway, I decided to actually create a rogue as my first character. This will allow me to get Steel as a thief and Mug later on as a rogue. Both of these skills allow me to get an extra bit of money here or there without little effort. With Mug, I automatically steal as I'm attacking enemies, so it's pretty easy to make a quick bit of cash. There are ways to get other skills like Greed, or even Steel for that matter, without being a rogue, but it's such a pain in the butt, and I really don't have any money to even buy those cards in the first place. Speaking of cards, I'll probably explain them later in a different video, but for now, let's just move on. I'm going to call my character Guess Who Is Back. Starting in Ragnarok Online is pretty easy now. When you first create a character, you are dropped off in the town of Islud. Here you can see little plus signs on the minimap. These will be quests that your character can start. Thankfully, there are a couple ones that give great experience plus a small bit of items. I suggest doing the quests around Islud first. They are really simple and you can do them in any order. The main ones I suggest would be Captain Carlock, who is right at the dock when you're dropped off, the Academy Staff Hoon, and the Information Staff. These two are standing next to each other. Hoon will ask you to eat some apple juice to explain health giving items, and the Information Staff will have you run around Islude interacting with signs. Lastly, I suggest doing the Shop Helper. She will explain how shops work in the game and ask you to buy and sell an item. Pretty simple stuff for really quick levels. Next, I suggest registering with the Academy to get some simple gear. A lot of this gear is restricted to you being a novice, but it gives you a lot of good stats to make it much easier to get to level 10. You can also register with the Eden Group to receive some items and the ability to do some cool quests later, as well as a free teleport. There are our two quests, one to explain refining and the other to do enchantments. These are also really good to do, but I didn't do them for this first part. By the time I did all this, I was almost job level 3 and base level 2. I grabbed a simple quest from the Eden Group first quest board. Time to get stabbing. It did not take me long to get the job level 10. I actually reached job level 10 before even finishing the quest. While doing this quest, I did receive a rare card drop. I was so surprised. I say rare, but maybe it's not that rare since it is for a novice pouring. Anyway, let's go change to our first job, Thief. Now, I am old school. I did not do too much reading before starting this project. I did not know that they changed the first jobs to be more simple. 
See, back when I played RO, each job had a quest that you needed to fill before you could change. You would need to be job level 10 as a novice and travel to that job's town in order to change. Well, the thief's job quest was in the desert city of Morocco. There you would need to collect a certain number of mushrooms and depending on how many you brought, you would receive better starting weapons. So I started walking to Morocco since I didn't have any money to use the warp service. I became very confused when there was no portal in one of the new maps that I've never seen before. I tried talking to one of the NPCs and realized that they'll just portal you straight to Morocco. Sweet, now I'm here. Oh man, this town brings back really good memories. I spent forever here. I particularly loved going into the Sphinx dungeon and killing Minotaurs. I am way too underleveled to do that right now. I noticed that I had mail, so I opened it up, and sure enough, they've been pushing me to actually get to my new job. That's cool. If you take one, or all of them, and open it up, the item description actually gives you a clickable link that shows you where your class job can be changed to. That's cool. So I made my way to the Thieves Guild. Now, like I said, this used to be my stomping ground. I know this maze like the back of my hand. I could probably do it with my eyes closed. I did not really need the arrows to show me where to go but I used it anyway. I dodged my way past some monsters and took the portal into the Thieves Guild. I spoke to the Thieves Guildmate and was instantly granted my first job, a thief. I was a little shocked. I thought I would need to do the quest. Little did I know, I actually had done a lot of stuff for nothing. See, if I was paying attention to the quests it originally in Islud, I would know that I could just have changed my job there. Inside the academy, the building at the north side of Islud, you can take a portal to go upstairs. Here you can see every first job changer, even the extended jobs. You can even test the first jobs. That's awesome. If you ask to try the job, the trainer will give you a manual. If you equip the book, you will gain a couple of skills for that job. It's a really cool idea and allows you to try before you buy. Well, I am a thief now. In the next video, I will work towards job level 50. It should not take me too long since I am in Morocco. I'll do some quests to get some new gear as well. Tune in next time to see which quests I take. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. If you are new here, please hit that subscribe button so you can get notifications for when my next video goes live. Once again, Thanks for watching, keep gaming, Operator out.